Hey traders, it's Steve Brooks, and today we're going to be talking about how ETF selling is a new opportunity for you. See, over the last 20 years, and especially over the last 10 years, these low-cost index funds, these low-cost ETFs have become very, very, very popular. And the reality is, over the last 10 years, those low-cost index funds, those passive index funds, have absolutely destroyed the returns of active managed hedge funds. So, so in one hand, it's a very, very easy and effective way for individual traders and investors to get market exposure without having to pay exorbitant fees. On the other hand, though, it's become a big, big, big liquidity issue. And let me explain that for, for right now. Every two weeks, when individuals get their paychecks, when they put some of that money in 401ks, what happens? That money goes directly into individual ETFs. When people uh, get money at the beginning of the year as a new job, what happens? Money goes directly into these ETFs. So these individual ETFs and these low-cost passive index funds have more and more money under management today than they ever, ever did before. Now, what ends up happening is last week with the coronavirus, we did have a little bit of a sell-off there, and that scared a lot of folks. But there, the very, very interesting thing is when the selling begins, the selling now begins at the ETF level at the ETF level, which for me shows a very large opportunity. And let me explain. We have companies like Facebook as an example. We have companies like Chipotle as an example. And we have companies like Netflix for an example. Now I imagine everyone who's watching this video has at least heard of two out of those three, if not all three. So let's kind of talk about those for a second. So Facebook right now is a giant company, hundreds of billions of dollars worth of market cap. Because of that, and because it is a very good and solidly run company, Facebook is in probably dozens and dozens and dozens of these low-cost ETFs. So the folks of the Vanguards or the T. Rowe Prices who manages ETFs, they own, a, they own a portion of Facebook in each of those ETFs. Same thing, same thing with Chipotle Mexican Grill, and same thing with Netflix. Because these are popular names, they are going directly into these ETFs so that the ETF can have some exposure. They could say, oh, we have a little bit of Netflix, we have a little bit of Facebook, so, uh, so buy our ETF, boom, we'll take that little bit management fee, we'll put it right in our pocket. Now, that creates an opportunity for us. Right now, what's going on in the stock market is there is anxiety and fear because there is uncertainty about when the globe might be able to wrap their arms around what's going on with the coronavirus. So again, when fear and anxiety and uncertainty happens in the market, it starts with ETF selling. And because of that, a Facebook, a Chipotle, or a Netflix will sell off, not because people feel like those names are not going to be as strong as they were in the past, but because they're in these ETFs. And when the selling starts with the ETFs, it creates a cascading effect down. Now, if we take a step back and are able to look at this more objectively, Facebook, Let's assume that the coronavirus gets really, really bad to the point where people don't want to leave their home and they don't want to travel. What are they going to do? They're going to go on Facebook, folks. Not less than they did before, potentially even more. What about Netflix as an example? Netflix is a global brand, a global company. And what happens if people get afraid of not wanting to go outside because they don't want to contract the coronavirus? They're going to stay inside. And after they check their Facebook, their Instagram, and their Twitter, and they don't have anything else going on, what might they do? They might watch Netflix. And if you live in the United States, as an example, and you're considering going to different restaurants based off of where they get their individual ingredients from, Chipotle, as an example, Chipotle is mostly in the United States, is mostly domestic, and they get all of their supplies from Mexico. Mexico has had zero cases of the coronavirus and, and the United States has less than 10 with 350 million people living in it. So an interesting opportunity that might arise here in the near future is we have the pressure from the ETF selling because there is uncertainty in the market due to the coronavirus. Because there is selling that starts at the ETF level, it trickles down to the individual names that they own. So regardless, if Facebook deserves a sell-off, if Netflix deserves a sell-off or Chipotle sells off, they're going to do it anyway because they're owned by all these ETFs which have trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars under management. Now, the nice thing is 
once it looks like the globe or the health organizations kind of have their arms around this coronavirus, we have some really nice opportunities in Facebook because again, if people are scared about spending their money and they don't want to leave their home, they're going to be on their phone and their computer more often. Again, if they're scared to leave, they're going to watch Netflix more. And again, if they're scared to eat at restaurants where the food is potentially sourced from Asia, they're going to go to a place like Chipotle where their food is sourced from Mexico where there are zero cases of the coronavirus. So as we start to get more information about this virus and at the point where it looks like we're kind of getting our arms around it, these three names are going to be, in my opinion, fantastic, fantastic buying opportunities because again, they sold off not because people thought the individual names are not going to be as profitable in the future, but because they're owned by ETFs. ETFs have more money under management than ever before. And because of that, then the selling begins when the uncertainty arises. The selling begins at the ETF level and Facebook, Chipotle, and Mexican Grow go down as collateral damage. Not because as an individual name, they're no longer good op a good viable option to invest. But for me, and hopefully for you, that is your opportunity because these stocks get sold extra than they should because of the ETF selling. So again, Facebook with the coronavirus should have zero impact on their business. Netflix with the coronavirus should have zero impact on their business. If not, there's also good arguments that it's going to help their business. Again, Chipotle, until you hear that all of a sudden it's all over Mexico and all over the United States, which is not right now, then that will be a great buying opportunity when everyone has a little bit less uncertainty about how we might be able to contain this coronavirus. So again, because ETFs have so much more money under management than they ever have, the selling begins at the ETF level and there is a lot of collateral damage to the names that are in the basket of those ETFs that otherwise maybe shouldn't really get the pounding that they have been. So I believe with this coronavirus, who knows how long it's gonna last, who knows how long it's going to be until people feel like we can really wrap our arms around it. However, when the time comes that there is more confidence around that virus, you have some names that have gotten beaten down, not because they should be beaten down, not because a coronavirus scare is going to make their business less viable, but because ETF pressure is selling them off. And that is your opportunity, folks.